Hey everybody, this is Everest Paradox, and welcome back to Wick. So currently we are on night two? No, night three. No, hour three. Not nights, they're on hours, because each level is an hour long, leading up to 6 a.m. And sadly we were killed by what I can only describe it as Chunk from the Goonies. Uh, I don't know what triggered him, but I could literally not escape him, so... Yeah, but let's go ahead and hop back into the game and continue. Let's see if we can't do a better job of not dying this time. So we do pretty much have a re relatively legitimate strategy, and it's to keep the candle always as much as possible at maximum efficiency, and just running like hell as much as I can. Now there are about three or four destinations in this map that you can check for items, uh, for actual items that lead into story. Eh, creepy baby. Um, there's the bus, the sat, the, uh, the radio tower, the burnt down house, well, the dilapidated house, um, and the bridge. Which is weird, because the bridge is sort of in the middle of nowhere and it doesn't make sense, but, eh, level design, whatever. But those are the places I like to check the most, because that's, those are the places so far that I have found story items. Which sort of tell the tale about this family. Uh, you're not there. You're not real. You can't. You can't prove to me you're real. No. Like what we just went past was the bus. And here's the the right. That's a water tower, not a radio tower. My bad. But from what I can tell, I can't actually get into here. It's just sort of a, a landmark to keep in mind. But I need to find a candler. A candler. How about no? How about you aren't fucking real? I don't know if there's actually a way to, like, blow out your candle. At least I haven't figured one out yet. But there is a there's currently an enemy in this level that is actually like attracted to, or he's like agitated by your by your light, which is making this very difficult. Why must you be difficult? Oh, no. No, you're not real. You're not real. You are not real. No, you're not real. Okay. We're in the graveyard. I actually have not seen this place yet. Doesn't look like there's, there's anything to collect here. Other than awful, awful feelings. Nope. Mm. That little bastard. Because this particular hour introduced two new enemies. One of them that is sleeping. No, it's not. You're lying. You're you're a lying little child. You're a bad little child. But they introduced the the chunk analog, and they introduced the creepy little glitch kid that I don't like at all. I haven't seen Chunk yet, which is good because he's actually the one that killed me last time. But I might have to go to the bridge, and I'm pretty sure that's where he stakes out. I haven't found any extra evidence though, which is really bothersome. Nope. Nope. We're not helping the little girl. We, we just aren't. That's that's just not a thing that's happening. The little girl can just go deal with it. I love the way they did shadows in this game. They did a really good job. Yep, okay, he's over there. So I am going nowhere near that bridge. Because he will, he will eat my face like a candy bar. that bell toll means. Oh, come on. 
not teleportation again. So the little girl has this lovely ability to teleport you, or like turn you around, and it is highly fucking annoying. Nope, we're not going that way. We are just going to act like that didn't happen, because it didn't. Oh, there's the dog again. The dog does never last long. He, uh, he usually ends, ends pretty quickly and pretty badly. Alright, let's transfer the light before this thing goes out. Before it gives that on us. And pick that up. Ooh. Bucket. Do you think you'll like it, Mama? Oh my god. Whoa. Jesus. He didn't even give me a chance to look away that time. Alright, let's try again. We have two or three items in that. God, this might be an entire episode just doing night just doing night three or hour three. Okay. So yeah, they introduce, the, currently there are four enemies. There's the little girl, the little, the, there's the little girl that you can't look at, the little boy who chases you down, this guy who's like a glitch monster, he moves around through glitches, and if you stare at him too long, I guess he just slaughters you, and then there's Chunk, who's this big, big bulking kid, who looks like Chunk from the Goonies, and he just punches you in the face and you die. At least I think it's Chunk. I think that's the name of the character. I could entirely be wrong. Thing in the third place. Something always happens to that poor dog. Let's find another candle before this one goes out. There's someone walking behind me. There's no candle on the bus. Oh, that's not good. That is not kosher. I mean, there's candles that way, but I would have—I could have sworn that they had said that there was one this way. Up chunk. Thank goodness. God damn it. Don't look at the creeper. So apparently, you have a very limited amount of time to not look at him, or you die. Ah, this is getting pretty tense. Wait, he's that way, and he's gonna wake up and eat my face. So I need to not be going that way. Which boy's about to show back up? The human glitch. Go oh, come on. Well, stop making me go places, little girl. Again. 
Okay, there's candle powder. Nope. That little girl loves making things difficult. Okay, we're at the halfway point right now. I think that's that, I think that's the indicator of halfway through the night. Shit. Okay. I didn't even have to look at her. She just had to be nearby. All right, this is gonna be <laughs> this is gonna be the last attempt for this episode because this is pretty bad. Yeah, we know, we know bad things, little kids, creepy monsters, all that fun stuff. Pick it up. I'm curious now, do I have to stay moving? Like, if I could just plant myself near a candle, would that do the same thing? Like, obviously I would have to run if I get approached by one of the kids, but do I have to be in constant motion? It's an interesting theory. Like, could I stand on this bridge until this wick is about to give out? And still be good? Or do I have to be in constant motion like this? If so, I might have just figured out a strategy to sort of jink this game. Let's go ahead and light things up a bit. And then that way I have the back up. Pretty sure there are phases to this as well. Like, Chunk doesn't show up immediately. He shows up a little bit later in the night. I'm surprised I haven't found the third item for this for this hour yet. Still. Don't like that. There's the doggy. Poor doggy. Enter that way. Well, there's no candle in there anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. How about no? If I go this way. No, you don't. You don't see nothing. And nobody, ever, 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 ever. I'm reaching that phase of my norm of my regular gameplay where I start trying to to uh, psycho no, not psychoanalyze, like microanalyze the uh, the mechanics of the game, trying to figure out how they work. Pick it up, light them up. I don't like what those trees were just doing. Okay, Chunk is over there. Which means I don't want to go over there. Which probably means I need to do a direct beeline across the forest. No, god damn it. 
Jesus. He didn't even give me a chance that time. That's actually, <laughs> it, it's funny, that's actually really, really good timing, because uh, I'm going to call the episode here. So I've decided that I'm going to be doing these series in sort of sets of threes, and then I'm going to let you all decide on whether you want to see me continue it or not. So we may only made it to night three of six, or hour three of six. So we still have a whole ha other half of the game to do, but I'm going to leave it up to you. I'm gonna, if you want to see more of Wick, please make sure to like the video and make a comment in the comment section saying that you want to see more Wick. And yeah, so this has been Wick by Hellbent Games. I really appreciate it. it. It's really cool. It has a very nice, creepy aesthetic with a unique art style that sort of plays on the whole uh, the whole masquerade mask thing. Pretty much all of the characters in this game, except for the little girl in Chunk, are wearing um, the theater masks, but they're very creepily done theater masks. But yeah, I really like this game. So this has been Wick by Hellbent Games. If you want to see more of this, please make sure to like the video. Comment in the comment section below. Share, subscribe, follow me on social media. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.